This is a drop cam with the cover removed. Four screws on the back. Take out the rubber gasket that's inside here. This is for attaching a 230 degree super fisheye lens. Scrape away the inside because the lens does not fit in this hole. So I'm scraping away the inside with an X-Acto knife. This plastic is transparent to infrared light. You see the LEDs. I wish I could bend them over so they shined a little bit farther out instead of so much in the center. But they're designed to be used with the lens that's in here. Oh, um, I removed this plastic right here and turned the lens uh, I think almost a quarter turn so it would focus on the fisheye because putting the fisheye on the outside it's not focused this is rather tedious but not quite you say why not use sandpaper or a file that'll create too much dust These shavings are much easier to remove. And it creates a, uh, a rough surface which will help hold the lens. This is the uh, clip for the lens. I like to hold it for it on a cell phone. I got this from Amazon. I think it was eleven dollars. Pretty good deal. Not quite. So I'm not putting so much force, but I'm turning it faster. Maybe that'll create a uh, a rounder hole. And who knows? We could all use rounder holes. better but not not quite no cigar That's it. So we want it kind of tight. It'll help hold it. Q-tip, remove any fibers or hairs. There's a rubber gasket on the inside of the fish eye. I guess that's to keep, to protect uh, cell phone lenses, fibers are a real problem with lenses. OK. 
Okay. And let's put the cover back on the drop can. Let's see how that works. Seems to work pretty good. And it's tiny, tiny screws. Okay, one modified drop cam. Okay, one last modification. This is a quantity of that sticky stuff you get at Office Depot for putting posters on the wall. I use this stuff all the time. It is wonderful. So we want to put it on here without obstructing the LED. This will help keep uh, keep the lens sort of stuck on there because the stuff is kind of sticky. So the, uh, the technique is to make the hole very firm so that the lens sort of jams in there. Take this stuff. I'm not sure that the, uh, the light the LEDs are going to shine past this blue stuff, so we're going to have to experiment with that as we go along. It, uh, it may obstruct the LEDs. It can be a problem. You may have to use some contact cement or something like that. I think there's a little bit too much in here. Let's remove some of it. This poster mount is just fantastic stuff. It really, uh, solves a whole host of problems. Okay, time to plug it in. Turn on the handy dandy tablet. Like it works pretty good. Looks like it works pretty good. I'm kind of far from my Wi Fi. Okay.